How Did You Die? by Edmund Vance Cook, 1866-1932. Did you tackle that trouble that came your way with a resolute heart and cheerful? Or hide your face from the light of day with a craven soul and fearful? Oh, a trouble's a ton, or a trouble's an ounce, or a trouble is what you make it. And it isn't the fact that you're hurt that counts, but only how did you take it? You're beaten to earth, well, well, what's that? Come up with a smiling face. It's nothing against you to fall down flat, but to lie there. That's disgrace. The harder you're thrown, why the harder you bounce. Be proud of your blackened eye. It isn't the fact that you're licked that counts. It's how did you fight and why. And though you be done to death, what then? If you battled the best you could? If you played your part in the world of men, why, the critic will call it good. Death comes with a crawl, or comes with a pounce, and whether he's slow or spry, it isn't the fact that you're dead that counts, but only how did you die. OK, this is by Edmund Vance Cook. Um, he was a Canadian. He was born in Ontario. Um, his first job was in a sewing machine factory. And then he decided to earn his money as a poet, a writer and a public speaker. Um, he published uh, various different things and um, he became a, a broadcaster on a radio station broadcasting his poems to live listeners and he died in the United States. So, how did you die? Okay, this is one of these uh, poems about how uh, what what happened in your life this is um, it's not in life it's defeat is not the problem it's how you take it it's how you uh, try if you get if you've done your best but you you've not been successful that's all you can do there's nothing um, that's nothing to be ashamed of in losing there's nothing to be ashamed of in not succeeding yeah um, the shame is giving up shame is not trying shame is not doing your best so how did you tackle that trouble that came your way with a resolute heart and cheerful? And this is the idea of the whole poem, yeah? Um, so you had a problem, a problem came, but how did you deal with it? What, what did you do? Did you do your best? Were you cheerful against it, yeah? Well, did you try your hardest? Or hide your face from the light of day with a craven soul and fearful? So did you fight your best or did you hide away with a craven? Craven means uh, cowardly. Yeah, uh, Craven is an adjective meaning a cowardly, of a coward. So did you hide and were you fearful about it? Or did you meet the problem full on and do your best? Yeah, and this is the question. Oh, trouble's a ton, or trouble's an ounce, or a trouble is what you make it. So, um, a, a, tr a problem is only a problem if you think of it as a problem. Yeah, it, the thing that's important is how you take that problem because life is full of problems and we will all have problems in life um, and therefore a, a problem or a trouble is what you make of it is what you do with it <coughs> and it isn't the fact that you're hurt that counts but only how did you take it so 
what he what he's saying here is we all have troubles we all uh, are hurt in life life hurts all of us but the most important thing is not the fact that we've had problems but what we did in the face of those problems what we did to counteract them how we took those problems you are beaten to earth well well what's that yeah so you were beaten up you were knocked to the ground well, what does that matter? Come up with a smiling face. Get up again and smile. It's nothing against you to fall down flat. So it's nothing to be knocked down. Yeah, if life knocks you down, if life uh, takes everything from you, yeah, that's, that's, that's not, not a bad thing. That's not because you've done something wrong. But to lie there, that's disgrace but to lie and not to get lie on the ground and not to get up yeah that's disgraceful yeah that's not good the harder you're thrown why the harder you bounce so the harder they throw you to the ground the higher you bounce you bounce back more strongly be proud of your blackened eye. Be proud of um, the black eye that you've got. Be proud of the things that uh, f bad things that fate is doing to you. Yeah. Um, be proud that you fought these problems. It isn't the fact that you're licked that counts. So notice if you're licked, licked is an American word meaning beaten. Yeah, so it isn't the fact that you've been beaten that counts, that you weren't successful. It's how did you fight and why? Yeah, so it's how did you resist your problems? And though you've been you be and though you be done to death, and though you be I love this subjunctive here, and though you be done to death, what then? yeah so and if you're killed if if you you die uh during these problems if you battled your best the best you could then it doesn't matter if you tried as hard as you could if you played your part in the world of men why the critic will call it good so if you played your part if you did what you you had to yeah if you did the right thing then the critic will call it good. Now, the critic, um, I like the way he's used a capital C, because I think this capital C, the critic, um, is maybe talking about St. Peter deciding if you go into heaven or not, or maybe even God, this capital C says some sort of supreme being, yeah? You've done the right thing. If, if you've done the best you could, then you've done the right thing. Death comes with a crawl or comes with a pounce. So death may come very slowly or it may pounce. It may jump on you like a cat pounces on a mouse. And whether he's slow or spry. So whether he's slow or he's agile and fast and quick spry. It isn't the fact that you're dead that counts yeah so it isn't the fact that you're dead but only how did you die yeah so this this phrase uh, did he die well yeah so this is uh one of the it is a poem telling you to do your best to face difficulty and fight difficulty as strongly as you can with every ounce of energy you have so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now how did you die by edmund vance cook